Hi, my name is Mia Spengler. I'm a director from Germany and I studied at the Film Academy Baden-Württemberg and I got the chance to present my third year movie, Don't Hit the Ground, here at the St. Sebastian Festival and I'm very happy to be here. I, yeah, I, I do think so too. I mean, when I when we were starting to write this movie, I was 25, I think, and at the, you're at the point where you basically realize that this chapter is completely closed, but it also made you the person that you are right now. So I think that's like a big um, inspiration or also like a point where you say, yeah, maybe I should kind of close it finally or something. And um, when we were brainstorming, um, we ended up on YouTube showing each other's like LL Cool J or something that we watched or listened to in the 90s. And then we thought it would be really nice to make something about this particular time. And we started to think about what was special in that time and how were, um, how influenced were used through especially media. I think, yeah, media is, Media is also something that I'm very interested in and because it basically paints the images we as normal people try to live up to. So I think the relationship is very interesting. And um, yeah, I think in the beginning it was more, it was a very conceptual process actually. We, at first we had a big kind of analysis phase about the 90s and about media streams in the 90s and what, what is interesting, there was no internet. So, and, and basically um, the big companies and media companies, they discovered that 11 to 18 year olds actually have a lot of buying power. They get money because their parents are okay wealthy. And so they could actually target this group of people with advertisement. And um, the channels were so limited, you know, there was like in Germany, there were like Viva and MTV, like two music channels. And then there were like five important newspapers and that was all there was so basically a bunch of 100 people like fat guys sitting in their offices could think oh yeah Backstreet Boys must be the next hit and just do it because it was so limited now it's not possible anymore because I think subculture is spreading more and more and yeah the focus in the beginning was how subculture was somehow perverted by media and stuff but then it all became very personal and we realized this is too conceptual and I think at some point we found a grip in the character and focused more on the character and the effects of all the theory that we were thinking about before. Well, I was really nervous about shooting with kids because I realized I'm not a kid anymore, or I'm not like in this age and somehow I hadn't realized it really up to that point because when you start casting and we also did a lot of research like testing the script with people in that age how they find it and I realized wow there's an age gap and they look at me like I'm like a grown old person and it was very weird in the beginning and um, yeah I found Emma Drogunova the main actress we did a long casting period because it's yeah it's tough to find girls that age who actually have an acting talent because everyone wants to act and they all come to the casting and it's sometimes it's tough and sometimes it's great <laughs> and um, yeah when I found her I immediately knew that she yeah she could pull it off really really good and yeah I'm still so impressed with her I think acting wise she was a great experience for me and um, it was also from the working process was completely different because um, it was more intuitive to work with kids I think yeah. Why? Um, actually, it's the title of a, in, in the German translation, yeah. nicht in Bodenbuchen, it's a title of a game, mm -hmm. like a children's game, where you are not allowed to touch the ground and you jump from, like you do it in your room and you jump from your chair to your cupboard and stuff like this. And actually, there was a scene, we wrote a scene where they play this game and later on it kind of got out of the movie. Like it, we never shot it. It was it was in one version of the screenplay, and um, yeah, we were searching for a title, and then came back to that scene, and some 
something about the feeling of of the game and the scene that you're always trying to stay up and you're kind of, you can't handle your own depth and what actually reality is facing and I think the scene when she when she sits in the bus and she does that interview introducing herself um, somehow has this feeling so we thought it would be a good choice for the movie. Well, I, for me, the film school was really, really helpful. Mm -hmm. Maybe not in the sense that I learned so much in a technical or um, historical way. More that you have um, the facility to practice mm -hmm. and that you just get the chance and the financing to do several movies. And some of them are shit and some of them are good and you learn what worked and what didn't work and I think that's the only way really to learn how to make movies is trial and error and I think our school does a good job in facilitating that. Um, I'm working on my um, on my first feature right now and I will realize it within the school so yeah and um, for our school is, is doing a good job in that perspective that we start to cooperate with TV stations at an early stage. Mm -hmm. So for my diploma film, there's already a TV station involved in the funding and the development. And um, yeah, I will, I prob if everything goes okay, then we will shoot next year this time. And I think that's an amazing opportunity to leave film school with a 90 minutes movie. Is, is, really is, good. This, is this happening with other students to make a feature film the last year? Or um, it's, it's not that unusual, mm -hmm. um, but we are seven directors, about seven directors every year, mm -hmm. and about two to three of them make a feature film. Mm. And yeah, I think it's good because it's, mm. there's a bigger market for, for feature length yeah. movies and they get a lot more attention. Mm -hmm. and. Yeah, it's, I think it's an amazing chance because it's yeah. a bit easier to do it within the school, within with the people you know, and um, yeah, I think it's kind of a secure place. Sure. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I realize it's a very different format yeah. um, and doesn't have that much to do with each other. Like structurally, it's very different. It's a very different work. Sometimes it, it's more like a puzzle, the 90 minutes thing. It's like you move things around a lot in the, in the screenwriting process and yeah, it's tough. It's a lot of work. Yeah. And I think, yeah, possibly making short, short films is a bit more intuitive because mm -hmm. they don't need a, that much of a fixed structure. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it depends. If you bore people for 30 minutes, it's one thing. But if you bore people for 90 minutes, yeah. that's like another thing so the more time you ask of the people who view your film like lifetime the more you have to give back I feel and it makes things difficult.